nestled in the rolling hills of northern Virginia, sits a sprawling tree-lined campus. Classrooms inside this shuttered private school empty. Once busy halls are eerily silent, each room like a time capsule of better days. But not for long. After much prayer and discussion with our elders and pastoral leadership, we will be launching Cornerstone Christian Academy. With a campus about 20 miles from Cornerstone Chapel, the church will open the school in fall of 23. It just kind of abandoned. Yeah, I know. Initially, there will be enough space for 500 elementary and middle school students. Yeah, they have classrooms, desks, there's the gymnasium, there's a cafeteria down the hall. We're going to repurpose it for the Lord. There are also plans to expand to high school and online learning. Our goal is to provide children an education where they have a biblical worldview so that then they can go out into the real world and be salt and light. The multi-million dollar project is Pastor Gary Hamrick's response to what's playing out in public school systems across the country. We you and we know you are in our schools. Kids are reading this and you're going to tell me I can't read it to you? The woman in the yellow trying to break up the fight. Three students killed, eight others shot. I pledge allegiance to the queers. Any religious tradition ascribed as God's will is no concern of this Congress. Do you shut down a club for first graders studying the Bible? Do you feel, you feel good about that? Yes, we do. Loudon is considered the face of the nation's culture war. For more than a year, parents railing against everything from sexual assault on campus. Organizers say the walkout was to show solidarity to victims of sexual violence. To critical race theory, X-rated books in school libraries. They're perverted because that there is no other rational or reasonable explanation. And transgender policies. It's abuse to a child and it's sinning against our God. Tanner Cross's dismissal for refusing to call students by preferred pronouns became the last straw for Hamrick. Our kids need an alternative. We have to ourselves as a church get engaged. What can we do to help give a, a Christian based, a Christian biblical worldview education for our children. Abby Platt, who saw three children suspended for not wearing masks at school, even though the state mandate was lifted, applied immediately. LCPS has lost our trust. And we really want our children to be in an environment that is safe, where they will focus on literacy and learning instead of indoctrination. Loudoun County schools have been the subject of so much controversy, Pastor Gary knew there'd be interest locally. What he didn't expect was to hear from parents in 27 states eager to enroll their children. Cornerstone has been inundated with inquiries, and not just from parents. Teachers want out of public schools, too. By the end of the week, we had over 2,500 students pre-registered. I got over 450 emails from teachers wanting employment. The overwhelming response mirrors what appears to be a national trend. Nearly 2 million students left public schools between 2020 and 2021 with large numbers now enrolled in Christian education. Before the pandemic, many Christian schools struggled with low enrollment. Now there are waiting lists. One of the things that came out of COVID was parents were looking over the shoulder of their kids as they were taking online classes and realizing some of the stuff that's being taught is against their own values, even if they weren't Christians. E. Ray Moore, founder of the Conservative Christian Education Initiative, calls it a once in a 100 year moment. It awakened in people, many Christians in churches and some pastors, the desire and the recognition that it's our responsibility to provide the Christian education of our children, not the government. The Association of Christian Schools International, one of the country's largest networks, has seen double-digit growth since the pandemic hit. The Association of Classical Christian Schools has added some 10,000 students. The number of homeschoolers has doubled, and new Christian schools are popping up all over the country. We're seeing a resurgence in, in homeschool co-ops and hybrid homeschools and learning pods, and uh, both churches and communities and even cul-de-sacs of people 
that are becoming very creative in what is good quality Christian value-based education. With many public schools mired in controversy, interest in Christian education is expected to keep rising. Do you think that this is part of a revival or a part of an awakening of people because things have gotten so contentious? Yeah, it's definitely part of, of a revival that I hope sweeps across this nation in different ways, not just in terms of schools and education, but what is happening in our churches. The sleeping giant has been awakened and parents begin to realize when their kids' future is at stake, we need to get involved. Like many church leaders, Hamrick believes Christian schooling is no longer a nicety, but a necessity. In Middleburg, Virginia, Tara Mergener, CBN.